Good evening and welcome to the January 16th, 2020 meeting of the Benson Park Committee. And we'll start with the, ple uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, Anne, would you lead us, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> okay, um, will the secretary please take attendance? You're going to be the acting secretary tonight for us, Jack? I will. Okay. Uh, Dick Empey, chairman? Here. Ralph Aleo, vice chairman? Here. Jack Madden, member? Here. Uh, Paula is excused. Uh, excused, okay. Uh, Ann DeRogius? Here. Here. John Leone? Here. Presence. Carol Ann Viennes? Here. Okay. Nancy Caron? Here. And Dave Morin? Morin. He is excused. Is he? Okay. Absent, as far as we know. I, I haven't heard from him. Okay. Well, I'll show him his absent. Okay. Okay. Moving right along, public input. We don't have anybody in the public tonight, so uh, let's take a venture towards the approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Okay. And Mr. Chairman, I've had uh, three corrections. Uh, so um, that um, the Pledge of Allegiance was done by uh, John Leone rather than Ralph last week. Uh, on the second page and the uh, fourth line, where it says the vision of a stock of resources to approve other that, other than, as it should be. And then finally, in the uh, last uh, sentence of uh, number 7A under new business, um, I understood that the town administrator would have to approve it in January compared to the uh, Board of Selectmen, and that goes back to the amount of the uh, bids. Okay, uh, does anybody see anything else that um, needs to be corrected? I make a motion. Do we accept the minutes of the meeting? With those changes. Yes, I do. With the changes. With the changes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll second that motion. A second from John. And we have a vote, please. Aye. 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 Okay. All right, Mr. Chairman, I'll make the corrections and get the revised minutes to you. Okay, those minutes, that's... Um, I think Carol Ann probably needs to abstain. Uh, uh, five, excuse me, uh, with uh, Carol and myself abstaining oh, due to okay. absence. Okay. I don't know if they're right or wrong. One minute. Yeah. Okay. Whole business. A. The kitchen roof warrant article. At this time, um, there is a position warrant article that has been accepted for this. Um, and I believe at the selectmen's meeting on Tuesday night, they voted two to three to not accept it, uh, to not recommend it, I should say. But uh, because it's a petition warrant article, it will move forward to the warrant. Um, any questions or uh, Discussion on that? I, I guess it's sort of related. Um, I, I believe one of the selectmen was going to try to meet with the governor to have a conversation. Do we have any feedback on that about the uh, potential roof? To my knowledge, nothing ever happened. Um, okay. I won't speak to Sorry, we don't why, know. but because uh, I really don't know. But okay. uh, I haven't heard anything. Uh, on that, that's why we move forward with the petition warrant article. Yep. Um, and I also, uh, I'd like to thank the people that uh, worked to get the signatures and uh, move that warrant article forward. Okay, B, filling the committee secretary position. Um, I find this a little disconcerting that uh, we don't have a permanent secretary. Uh, I personally feel that 
uh, we should be able to fill this position. Uh, if any, nobody's got anything to add to that, I guess we'll just move on from there. Yeah, I will, you know, take the meeting notes for this evening, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, but I will not be here next month. I will be out of town, so I will not be able to do it next month. So perhaps somebody else could step up and do it on a temporary basis next month. Okay. Um, item C, the wooden bridge rehab plans. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't uh, done anything since the November meeting on this uh, and other things, other irons in the fire and uh, didn't uh, spend any time to, to work on that. Uh, I hope to have something a little more definitive for our next meeting. Um, does anybody else have any thoughts or suggestions uh, where we want to go with that? At this time, um, we did patch that bridge uh, back in the neighborhood of Thanksgiving, maybe a little after. The bridge is good enough for now, um, but uh, it's on its last legs. Uh, we've got a lot of decay in that bridge, and we're going to have to do something. Uh, and of course, that remain, brings up the, the point of financing. Uh, we're going to have to uh, do something to try to raise some money or find some money to do that. Uh, it's going to be uh, several thousand dollars at a minimum. <coughs> uh, I'm not ready to take a guess on that, but... Uh, I think we're probably looking at something north of three, maybe four thousand dollars to um, do that bridge over. Uh, I think that uh, unless we somehow come up with the finances, I, our dreams of the covered bridge has probably gone by the wayside. Uh, it's just, you know, with everything we need to do, uh, and the amount of money that's available to do it, I don't see us coming up with something north of twenty thousand dollars to put a covered bridge there. Um, if we rebuild something in the nature of what we have there now, uh, we can do it for a lot less money um, and get it through with a lot of less, a lot less oversight, uh, as it could be a repair as opposed to building a bridge, which kind of doesn't raise as much oversight. Comments? So I do. Um, so what do you believe the next steps are to <coughs> scope, I guess, that non-covered bridge replacement, I guess? Well, um, What's our plan? We got to pin down a, a design first, yep. uh, and then get some rough pricing. So we, uh, you know, an estimate, uh, so we know what we have to look for for funds, uh, and then uh, as of with everything else, uh, it's all about the dollars and cents. Um, and I guess that was my question: How do we come up with that estimate? Right. So design sounds like. Well, step. Start with the design. Uh, I personally would like to use steel beams instead of wooden. Um, I think we can do it uh, somewhat effectively uh, without adding a tremendous amount of money. But it would uh, it would change the whole uh, idea of that bridge because if we use steel beams, then we're just talking about replacing. Uh, rotted wood in the future as it deteriorates, which mm -hmm. it's going to do. I mean, whether we get 15 years or 20 years or whatever out of it, someday somebody's going to have to replace mm -hmm. things. And um, if we're sitting on steel beams, 
it'll just be a matter of replacing deckings and rail ones and that type of thing. That's that's my thoughts right now. Uh, you know, I haven't priced the steel, uh, so uh, I guess I don't know how prohibitive that'll be. But I, from a, a little bit of information discussions with people, I think it's it's going to be doable. But again, I don't know. Okay, if there's nothing more with that, we'll move on to the railroad station asbestos remediation. We've got our quotes. Uh, we've got a vendor. Uh, and again, the only thing we need now is the money. Um, we, there is money in the Benson's account. Um, when we see how we fare through the winter months, uh, we're kind of labor and other expenses we have to um, incur in the spring to repair, to repair what the winner has done to us will determine what we have left over for money. Um, but in keeping that in mind, um, we uh, have had some discussion about some paving work, which is kind of key. Um, that Benson Boulevard is a, uh, a nightmare every time we get a heavy rain the town has to come back over and regrade and repair the, the road otherwise we have a bunch of deep gullies and sooner or later uh, somebody's going to get hurt fall and that kind of thing so uh, that's why we work on that damage right after every storm try to keep it as good as we can but it's kind of hard to keep doing it over and over and over again. So probably if we have the money, that's the highest priority with uh, the funds. Um, the second is, uh, well, I don't know if it'd be the second. Uh, we'd like to replace the two big windows in the front of the kitchen, in the front of the office building. That was, if you remember, that's a thirty-four hundred dollar expense. Also, uh, so we have the wooden bridge. We have the windows in the office building. Uh, we don't know where we're going with the roof on the kitchen, but uh, something has to be done with that this year. Uh, I'm hoping that the Warren article will pass, and and then we can move on with that and just get it done and be done with it. Uh, if not, we're going to have to spend some money to somehow prevent that building from rotting away until we do uh, move forward in some direction. And the asbestos for the railroad station, um, to be honest with you, it doesn't have a real high priority. Um, if it doesn't get done right away, uh, we're not going to lose anything. We're just not going to gain something. Uh, and these, that, this is my personal feelings. I, you know, others you might feel different, but uh, you know, uh, again, it all comes down to the money. And do you have um, somewhat of an estimated balance of what might be in the budget at this point? Um, hesitate to guess but it I believe that it's somewhere north of 10,000 but I haven't really checked uh, with Jesse to see where we are and again um, money goes fast when you have to bring in a crew in the spring to clean up fallen trees and branches and on and on and on just the general day-to-day -day maintenance in the park uh, until we know what that's going to be, I guess we really don't know. Uh, that's what we're going two thousand, Richard. Pardon me. That's what you said. Two thousand or two hundred thousand. He said ten. Ten. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Um, and again, I, I really shouldn't be saying that because I don't know for sure. Okay. Um, so I maybe, could be way off. Maybe just remind everyone. So the Benson Park Committee doesn't have a separate budget anymore, right? It's got no. combined under the DPW. Well. It, it yeah. still 
Benson Park budget, but it falls under the administration of the DPW. Okay. And it, it's theirs to uh, decide how it's going to be spent. Um, we can express our feelings uh, mm -hmm. and uh, give them some direction of what we're thinking, but uh, we really don't have the uh, full control of that money. Mm -hmm. So I guess we uh, kind of in a tough position. Really. So it, I think to your earlier point, we can agree on the priorities. It doesn't have to be tonight, right? But identify our top three or four things, and depending on what is available come spring, then we can have, you know, at least some direction that this committee all agrees to, and then you can go try to work with DPW to address as many of those things as we can, just working down the priority list, hopefully. Well, uh, yeah, I, I think we have two things to do. Uh, number one is to get pricing. Oh, for the bridge. And, yeah, for the sure. bridge. Yep. And whatever else we're going to do or not do, uh, the big swing there is going to be the roof on the kitchen, um, and we won't know that until March. Um, so uh, we'll work from there but uh, somebody came up with about fifteen or twenty thousand dollars it sure would help out <laughs> uh, uh, you know write a check John <laughs> write a check get rid of that <laughs> so that's that's where we are with that um, any other questions or comments on that Let's move forward to uh, new business. Uh, there's really not much. Uh, we have um, submitted changes to the web page. Uh, we added uh, some more wildlife photographs. Uh, we added uh, a whole section on activities in the park uh, and updated some of the the pictures that were no longer relevant, such as the half-finished restrooms. Uh, now we have a completed picture, and we can say that they're completed, not in progress. So just a little freshening up of the, the web page. And again, if anybody has anything uh, to add to that web page or any uh, comments or questions about it, um, let me know, and uh, I can work towards... Uh, doing what we need to do. Okay, uh, on our calendar, I'm pretty sure we're not going to have a uh, volunteer day in February. Uh, the third Saturday in February is going to be a little hard to work. So we have our next meeting. It's February 20th. Uh, John, do you have any other? Uh, no, we don't have any events coming up. Uh, what's the... Thoughts on the cardboard sled race? Is that defunct uh, or? We, if we still need a steady supply of snow to actually make that happen, but um, yeah, yeah. We, we haven't even addressed it this year because we get some snow, it melts. Yeah, I was. We get some ice, it melts. Yeah, I was kind yeah. of just wondering what yeah. your position uh, was. My hopes that. aren't high, but if, if we do, it'll be, a, you know, with about two weeks' notice, maybe we can try to pull something together, but I, I'm not optimistic. Well, unfortunately, we're liable to get some snow sooner or later. Okay. Yep. I think this weekend. So, so if everyone wants to go get a sled ready just in case, feel free, I guess. But <laughs> they did that two years in a row now, and we, we haven't yeah, been able okay. to have it. So, yeah. John, what was the name of the event again? A cardboard sled race. Cardboard sled race. Yes, yeah. Sir. So okay. it, it had been done for a number of years um, to benefit Mouse Pals, who did the amphitheater. Um, and the gentleman who coordinated that, there used to be a committee member here, offered to work with the Friends of Benson Park to keep it going. But for two years in a row now, we've mm -hmm. not had enough snow to make it happen. So. Perhaps, um, well, that's not too much of a fundraiser, is it? Not really, no. It's more of an outreach thing. And yeah. Okay, well, uh, we'll keep that in the back of our minds and hope for a little snow. Sure. It is fun. I mean, it, it is. It's, it's definitely a fun day. Um, good excuse to get out on a nice sunny winter day and 
we can have a nice sunny one today. That'd be great. With some snow. Okay, uh, let's go around the table. Um, business, uh, other business remarks by committee members. Uh, Jack. All right, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, so, with respect to the uh, the three vendors, um, should I go ahead and tell them that you know we received their bids, we reviewed their bids. Uh, tell the one who is the winning bidder that they won and the two that didn't that they didn't, but also point out that um, rather than making a decision in January as we have thought was going to occur, it will probably be later in the spring when we see what the results are of um, um, <clears throat> uh, use of the maintenance funds uh, during the uh, late winter, early spring. Would that be a fair I thing to say? I, yeah, I, I think I would, uh, yeah, i just send them something saying that uh, we accepted their bid and uh, at this time we're in the process of trying to accumulate the funds to do the work. Okay. Uh, all right, very good. I'm sure they wouldn't be interested in doing it if there's no money available. I <laughs> know. Uh, <laughs> and. Nope, you stole my cardboard sled race. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Carol. I'm not, nothing as of yet. I'm still okay. grasping everything. Nancy. Nothing at this point here. John. Nothing else. Well, it's a pretty dull, dull. No. Yeah. <laughs> Tough crowd tonight. Ralph. Nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. No. He did Kill a good me. job last night. Nothing to talk about tonight. I guess we pretty much covered everything. Um, Winter slow. What's that? Winter. It's a little bit. Off our game. Yeah, um, yeah. Be be thinking, please, uh, about how we're going to get through some of these things. Uh, we need some ideas, and uh, as far as fundraising, and as far as um, kind of narrowing down our vision of exactly what we're going to do, uh, so that when the weather breaks in the spring, which it's going to happen faster than it seems. Um, we're ready to go. Um, I, I don't know if I want to mention it or not. Well, we have had some problems recently with the dumpster by the dog park. It seems that we're getting a fair amount of household trash in there. Um, it's not and this is for the people out there that may be listening, uh, that's not for general off-site refuse. Uh, it's there for the, um, for the park, for things that people carry out from the park and the dog park. And uh, if we continue to fill it up with off-site trash, um, it's going to become a problem, and uh, we really don't want that to become a problem because we don't want to lose it. We need it. So with that, if nobody's got anything else, uh, I'd take a motion to uh, adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. Second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we are adjourned at uh, somewhere around uh, 724. Okay, very good. Thank you for coming.